First, in positioning the transducer, we're going to angle the probe from the ASIS to the pubic bone. That's going to be the angle the transducer is inserted on the patient. And normally it lies right in that fold when you bring your leg to the chest, it's that fold there. So we lay the transducer down. On the right hand side, we'll see the uh, pelvic crest there. We'll see the psoas muscle, which is the dark structure, and the iliopsoas tendon, the lighter structure. If we go medial, we'll see the femoral artery. We'll go back. The nice placement for this is having the pelvic crest in the center of the screen and the iliopsoas tendon just above that, that hyperechoic structure that's oval shaped. That's where we our target. If we rotate the transducer 90 degrees, we will be able to appreciate the iliopsoas tendon coming over top the acetabulum and you can see that fibrous structure there going over top the femoral head on the right hand side. Our structure that we're going to inject is the iliopsoas bursa, which surrounds um, the iliopsoas tendon. And as we can see here, the tendon is the structure directly above the bone. This is the view you want to have prior to injecting. In order to perform the injection, Insert the needle on the lateral side of the transducer in order to avoid any vessels. Have the needle travel all the way to the underside portion of the iliopsoas tendon so that it's in the bursa. Go ahead and perform the injection and there you have a beautiful, simple iliopsoas bursa injection.